What's up everybody? It's Easy, Easy Street Gaming. We have a kind of tutorial video, Town Hall 8, Go Bajo and Go Vape. Both of them use Valkyries, they both use Golems. The only difference is one of them you have the Pekka's with them and the other one you, have, you end up with Hog Riders. Both are lead attacks for Town Hall 8. Both of them heavy on the Dark Elixir. So you'll see you'll see this attack coming from a lot of players that are kind of done with all the, the Dark Elixir upgrades in Town Hall 8. Uh, just like I am, I have no more Dark Elixir troops to upgrade. I have no more Dark Elixir need except for to build troops. So I'm building all the armies out of Dark Elixir, which makes it a lot easier farming. You don't normally you wouldn't normally farm with all Dark Elixir because this is probably a 2,000 or 3,000 Dark Elixir army. So you can't really expect to make any Dark Elixir when you're using this type of army. But if you want to push your way uh, through some elixir upgrades, this is the way to go. You, you build the huge dark elixir armies and you'll use very little elixir because right now I'm trying to, I think I'm trying to do the P.E.K.K.A upgrade, the last one, which is 6 million elixir. So in order to get that kind of elixir quickly, you don't use any while you're raiding. Just like you would, uh, just the opposite of, of when you're trying to build up on dark elixir. You don't use any dark elixir troops. So you see a bunch of troops kind of filtering through that we use in the raid and this particular raid this is a town hall 9 raid and, and you'll see a lot of these when you're in the end of town hall 8 and i know a lot of players are intimidated by going after town hall 9s but it really isn't that difficult if you use the right troops in this case here we we, we put a golem in the bottom and, and a couple of valkyries down the bottom they hit the walls they started taking out those outer outside buildings which is where all the money was was in the resource buildings outside the walls then we then we put in three or four Hog riders that jumped over the walls on each side, put a heal spell in each one of them, and then on that whole bottom of the base, all the defenses were taken out, so it was really easy for us to go down there and take out all the resources down the bottom. Then we went up top and we put a Pekka up top and the King up top and just pushed them through the top part of the base, and we ended up getting pretty much 95% of the resources before we even hit the walls or before we got through the walls. And then, you know, picking up the 50%, that's important, not because. Uh, you're not really even looking to to push forward on your star count. At, at least I'm not. I want to kind of stay where I'm at. So getting three stars and getting 30 or 40 stars is uh, or 30 or 40 trophies is not really what I'm looking for. So you're kind of trying to pick up that 50% each time, and you do that by not breaking into the into the base and going after town hall, which is kind of you know a lot of people have a hard time using these big troops. Because they have the mindset break into the wall go after town hall you don't have to do that you can use them on the outskirts of the base too so that's why i wanted to show you that last replay where we just kind of use the big truce still picked off all the stuff on the outside i know it sounds seems weird to spend three thousand in dark elixir to go after you know six hundred thousand total in golden elixir but that's what we needed so that's what we went after okay uh next couple of attacks what we're going to do is I've got all the troops that we, we use in these attacks, and we'll just go over each troop, you know, briefly. And I know that a lot of people know what all these troops do, but there are still people out there that just don't, you know, they can be like me that when I first got Gollum, I put in seven of them in the or six in the first attack and didn't know, I didn't understand why I only got 20% of the base. Because all these troops have a purpose, they all work together in a certain way. And you have to learn, and you know, some people are, are still learning. So, for those of you that are still learning, Gollum is the is your tanks. You're going to put them in first. You want to give them a few seconds to soak up all the damage. Everything will start targeting the Golems. They have four or five or six thousand hit points, depending on what level they are. And as everything, you know, now remember, defenses, once they target a specific troop, they can't pull off of it. So if you have two or three archer towers and cannons on the outside outskirts of the base that lock onto the golem, that gives you the opportunity to put troops in behind the golem that can take out all those buildings all around, and they don't have to worry about getting shot at because the golem is just attracting all of that uh, aggro, and they, they won't be able to pull off of him until he, until he pops and, and turns into two, which the golem does once, once it gets down to a certain... Once it once it gets defeated, basically it, it cracks into two into two golemites, and then they have like 500 hit points, and they continue on. So, big troop, expensive troops, expensive dark elixir troop, but really really durable. And it's the one thing I see people do that that you know gotta work on is 
when you put the golem in give it some time to hit the walls and give it some time to, for everything to target it um, now next point I want to make the uh, Valkyries are our next troop um, they are, they are troop specialists they these Valkyries are great in the clan castle if there's any ground troops they do a, a fantastic job at, at wiping out ground troops as you get up into the elite levels in, ten, in Town Hall 10 and 11, uh, I've seen three Valkyries in the clan castle wipe out 25 bowlers, which may seem weird, but they, they can do it. And the lower Town Hall levels, like Town Hall 8, if you accidentally drop all of the giants in before you pull the clan castle troops, and the clan castle troops happen to be two or three maxed out Valkyries, they will take out all the giants in 10 or 15 seconds, without <laughs> just uh, several swings away. They do splash damage, they, 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 they do that whirlwind uh, spinning attack and they hit everything in that, in that area. They also have strange pathing because they don't, they don't run up to buildings and start attacking them. They'll run in between them and try to, try to attack several buildings at once. So you have to be careful with them because they'll get deeper than you may think into, into these attacks. Now one of the keys to using them is to funnel them into the base. If, you, if they end up going around the outside of the base, even though they have fairly high hit points, they get chopped up really quick by the, by the cannons and archer towers. So you want to put the golems up, up to the walls. You want to use maybe a couple of wizards or maybe even a couple of valkyries to clear out some of those outside buildings. And then you want to uh, wall break into the wall. Uh, earthquake into the walls do whatever you can to get inside the base get the Valkyries inside the inside the base and then do what they do best by putting a rage on them once they come near the core and they will wipe out the core of a base in under a second it's amazing watching Valkyries under a rage spell <laughs> um, next troop is the hog rider hog riders are, are elite troops period they are one of those uh, one of the couple cleanup troops that we have in the game uh, you know hog riders and balloons are your two big cleanup troops uh, Hog Rider being the ground based one of course uh, he jumps over walls um, You can he can jump over 30 walls if you could stack 30 up and actually attract him over them for some somehow I don't know how to but <laughs> um, Best use at the end of it uh, at the end of an attack and you have to use them with heal spells uh, For those of us uh, that have used them for a long time th They are fragile troops, but if used properly and you lead them with these heal spells. In other words, you don't put the heal spell directly over them because then they're running out of them the whole time. You put them in front of in front of them where you where you believe they're going to path into, and now you'll have the hog riders jumping into the heal spells instead of out of them, and they seem to stay in these heal spells forever. And bringing three heal spells at Town Hall Eight can keep all those hog riders alive. Um, now. In Town Hall 8, it's a little different than Town Hall 9. You can actually use the Hog Riders a lot earlier in the raids. Now, that the raid that we just watched, I actually put them in there right at the beginning. We had this big debate on whether they, they can live through Town Hall 8 or not. Uh, believe it or not, they are, they're pretty strong. And if you put them in early in Town Hall 8, then you can use the spells on them and the rest of the troops. Uh, that's one of the downsides to using the hog riders that you have to save all your spells till the end of the raid So you can put the the heal spells on the hog riders, but in town hall 8 the bases are so much smaller You can actually start off with a rage and get all of your troops in this rage and, and hog riders included And then as the hog riders shoot ahead then you throw a couple heal spells in front of them and, and next thing you know the base is gone and in 70 seconds <laughs> They can be extremely fast troops. They're great for cleanup because they do jump over the walls, uh, w which is, a, is really helpful when you're dealing with these some of these high level walls that, you know, you may only have 45 seconds left in four buildings, but you have to get through two walls to do it. You'll never do it, but those hog riders jump right over the walls and they 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 take out those buildings really quick. Now, in this last attack, this last attack is a go vape, and this was just a a really good example of funneling the troops into the base. Uh, we took out those outside buildings, and then and you, you'll see there's just nowhere for the troops to go but inside. And being patient with the spells, we, you know, we see those big blank areas. You know those, you know those are going to be your giant bomb or potential giant bomb areas. So you make sure you put your heal spells over those big giant bomb areas to keep all those troops alive. And uh, you know, there's only there's three big sections in that. So that kind of gives us an indication where you, where you can use your spells. In Town Hall 8, you have three spells, three full spells and a couple halves. And I, we just used one spell in each one of those big blocks. And it worked out great for us. 
Uh, now the last troop we wanted to get into is it's the P.E.K.K.A. Uh, P.E.K.K.A. is a damage specialist, kind of like the Queen in Town Hall 9. The only thing is uh, with, the, with the P.E.K.K.A. it's she, it's a she, is also very sturdy. Now that, that's, that's unusual. Normally uh, the game will, will give a character a, a pretty big flaw when it gives it so much power. In other words, it's really powerful but, but very um, um, squishy. We like to say, but not the Pekka. They are really strong. They stay up for a long time. She was really slow for a little while and, and, and didn't get much play. So there's been a bunch of buffs here lately to try to improve her gameplay. Uh, and right now is a really good time to use the Pekka. Uh, people use her with ho with uh, healers. Uh, that that seems to work really well. Um, another another really good troop to put in the beginning of the attack. Uh, I know a lot of people will use them instead of Gollum because they just do so much damage and their hit points They're not quite like Gollum's or maybe a third less, but they still have really high hit points probably around the four thousands once you get maxed out So I, I believe that all, all town hall eights need to entertain these two attacks They both take a little getting used to uh, They're both a little dangerous because of the clan castle troops too. There's not a lot of air targeting troops in them so you have to be kind of careful. Uh, make sure you bring one or two wizards no matter what. And uh, try to put that hog rider in right at the beginning. Try to pull those clan castle troops out. And uh, if they have clan castle troops, you'll pull them off into a corner with maybe an archer or something. Lure them into a corner and then drop the golem in. And then as the clan castle troops are trying to kill that golem, put a couple wizards behind them and take out those clan castle troops. If not, you'll have a dragon or balloons following you around the base. Because the hog riders and the P.E.K.K.A. and the golem and the Valkyries, none of them shoot into the air. So be mindful of that. That's the weakness of these two attacks. But other than that, they got tons of power. So I hope you enjoy the video. Um, again, try to use these attacks. These are great attacks. These are these are kind of lead up attacks for some of your elite Town Hall Nine attacks. So Town Hall Eight, go vape, uh, go the hoe. Hope you enjoyed it. It's been easy. Take care.